we will be doing how to use combo boxes. Now this is your combo box control over here in palette and it's used a lot where we need to choose out of multiple options. Like radio buttons are also used to choose one of the multiple options but the thing is if I have a long list of options where only one has to be selected so we prefer using combo box instead of making so many radio buttons. So I'll show you an example how do we use this. For example, we have to make a bill only. For bill, I have a bill amount. And I have to choose one of the payment modes. And based on the payment mode selected, I have to give discounts. So I have bill payment, how much amount has to be paid. That will be entered in a text field. which should be initially say blank and I change its name to T1. Then I have a label for mode of payment. I want to select the mode of payment. Now how do we make a combo box? You click on the combo box control, drop it here and for putting the option in this you have to right click go to properties and in properties there's an option called model so model property is an option where we can give the values which should appear in your combo box by default it's showing item one item two item three item four i don't want these i have options like the user wants to pay by cash the user wants to pay by check wants to pay by debit card, wants to pay by credit card. So I can have as many options as I want, but let's say I have these four in this and I click on OK. You can have any number of options. There is no limit on the number. Then you can see there is a feature over here called selected index, which is zero. Selected item is cash. That means by default in your combo box, the first option comes selected. So first option is selected. That's why the index, that means its position is zero because in Java, positions normally starts from zero and the item is cash. Okay. Rest we don't have to use. Then we click on close. Our combo box is created. Now on the click of this button, I have to show the final bill payment where I have to show the discount and the net amount. So for this, I need text fields, which I put over here. I don't need it too big. So I just make it small. And this should be the discount amount. This one should be the net amount. And now what I want is when bill is clicked, I have to find the discount and net amount. The conditions are, let's say, if it's cash, I have to give 10% discount. If it is check, we are not giving any discount. If it is debit card, I'm giving, let's say, 5% discount. If it is credit card, I'm giving 7% discount. So if I have to give discounts like that, basis on this, that which option is selected out of the combo box. So we double click on bill. We come to the function where we have to write the code. So what code I need is, if you want the numbers to be without the decimal part, take integers. But if you think that discount and all should be in points, then it's up to you. You can take a double value as well. So I have taken amount, discount, and net amount. Now amount, we are going to read from the first text field. So we're going to write integer dot percent and we read the value from the first text field. That's T1 dot get text. So I read the value from the text field which comes in amount. Now comes the main thing. I have to see which option is selected from the combo box. Now there are two options for that. There is a function called get selected index 
and there is a function called get selected item get selected index gives me the position of the selected element in the list like if second option is selected it gives me one if fourth option is selected it will give me three so it depends which option is selected accordingly i'll get the position of the selected element and if i call get selected item then it gives me the string itself so i can choose any of the methods i'll show you with both of them that how do we work with it but let's take position first so if i take position position is going to be an integer value so i've taken n for that and i can write int n is equal to i didn't name i didn't change the name of the combo box so by default the name is combo box 1 otherwise i could have changed it combo box maybe b is also capital dot yeah so it gives me get selected index index is the position now i can put if or switch where i can check the equality like if n is equal to 0 n would be 0 if cash is selected because that's my first option so if cash is selected i'm giving 10% discount so it should be 10 into amount upon 100 as if if n is 1 if n is 1 that means check is selected we are not giving any discount on check then we have n as 2 which was debit card if we are giving 5% discount on that so it will be 5 into amount upon 100 as discount is equal to 7% for credit card so 7 into amount upon 100 so we got the discount and finally after discount i need to find the net amount which is going to be amount minus discount and then i have to show it in the text fields so in t2 i'm supposed to show the discount so i write t2 dot set text and inside this i have to show the value of discount so quotes plus discount and in t3 i have to show the net amount so i just write net amount here so we show the net amount in this and now let's see how it executes So this is the screen which we get after running this where we are going to enter a bill amount then i have to choose the type of payment let's say debit card and i click on bill so it shows like this count amount is 400 which is 5% of 8000 and the net amount if i choose cash it will be 10% if i choose credit card it will be 7% if i choose check it's going to be zero so that's how we get the discount on the basis of mode of payment